Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is an early one, meaning that I'm starting the video before I've even straightened up the house. And here's the reason why. I really want to bring the bearded dragon downstairs. I yes. want her to be a part of our life every day. I don't want to go up and visit her a few times a day. I love her. If you guys didn't know, I got my poppet. Yeah, she got her it's poppet. Really cool. So last night I said, like, oh, I want to bring her down. Where can we put her? And there's no place to put her. There's none. So then I was thinking of this She's one there. spot over here. But it would be kind of in the way. And I have pictures hanging up there. And I definitely don't want to have her sitting in front of my pictures. So then I said to God, like, if I can bring her downstairs, God, you're going to have to show me where because there's no place to put her in this main floor. And then this happened. This morning I woke up and I came downstairs. And the picture that was hanging here on the wall is missing. But yeah, I can't go there because there's just, I mean, it would just be in the middle of all the cold air that comes in when we open the door. And all the walking. But I believe that it was a sign. I believe that God gives a sign. You've got signs, you guys. You just got to listen to them. Does your staircase do this too? It makes this part in front with the wall. Yeah, see, there's space. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. And this is not even the same color as the wall. Sophie, you have OCD. No, we don't. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today. We're just getting things started. I wanted to show you guys what Sam bought us for Valentine's Day. You guys were wondering. The vlog got cut off before I could show you. Dun, da, da, da. He bought us all new computer chairs. Isn't that crazy? All new computer chairs. He ordered them online. They look a little different than what we thought they looked like. What he thought they looked like, but they're beautiful. They go up and down like a regular chair. They also, this part totally reclines. And if that's not enough, it has a knee rest that comes out. So you could technically, we could technically sleep in this thing. Last night I edited in mine and it was awesome. I put my legs up. I did. I put my legs right up there, reclined a little, got into it. If you thought yesterday's vlogs were very well edited, then thanks Sam. Thanks Sam for the amazing Valentine's Day gift. So apparently Gabby's having a rough start to her morning. I promise Gabby it's going to get better. It's going to get better. All right, we are on date day. So we are headed into town to do a little bit of shopping. I need something really bad. I'm gonna show you when I get there what I'm getting, but I just need it, you guys. When you just need something and you have to go and get it. So today is Tuesday. It's the day that we're working with the ponies and we are gonna be working with the ponies. I, I feel like whenever anything comes up, it's it's the ponies and, and Penny that have to be given. The time with the ponies and Penny that ends up being the thing that gets lost in the dust you know the, the times when you have so many other things that you have to get done but not today today I'm going down there we're going down there I have to get my working going with my girl but I just wanted to tell you guys something that is super important while Sam and I are driving and it is that today I posted on Instagram a picture of Miss Trixie our bearded dragon she's finally shedding her whole chin is all shedding down I'm excited for her to shed and be fresh and new and beautiful again and then it made me think like Comment below if you could just shed off the parts of you that you don't love, the parts of you that you think are less than perfect, would you do it? Would you shed off the extra weight? Would you shed off the nose that you hate? Would you shed off the parts of your personality that you're not in love with? Would you do that? If you had the opportunity to just shed them off, would you do it, Sam? Tell them. No. Nope. Why? Wow, he's still learning. Would you really not do it? If I said, Sam, I'm gonna push this button right here and you could get, you could be 60 pounds lighter, would you do it? Nope. Really? Oh geez, I would do that. So comment below if you would do it. I think a lot of people would do it, that's my guess. But this is what I have to say about it. We all have things about us that are not perfect, things that we wish we could wish away, things that we wish we could just shed off and be done with. But for me, I don't even pay attention to the parts of me that don't make me happy. I only pay a part I only pay attention to the parts of me that give me pleasure and happiness. That extra weight that I have on me doesn't weigh in to my happiness. That crooked nose or the big nose or that crazy hair that never lays down flat 
doesn't weigh in for my happiness. That hair that disappeared when I dyed my hair with a do with a different brand and it and it cut took out half of my hair doesn't weigh in for my happiness. My happiness is not reliant on any one thing in my body. My my happiness is based on me choosing to feel happy and only paying attention to the things in life that make me feel happy. I hope that makes sense. I know there's gonna be somebody out there that's gonna be like, Laura, you're an influencer. Stop telling people that happiness is a choice because blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like there are gonna be people out there that don't agree with me and that is okay. My job as an influencer is to share the parts of me that I love and that I want to share with you guys and I hope you guys are, and I hope that it makes a difference to some of you guys. Basically what I'm saying is don't pay attention to the parts that you don't love. The parts of you that you don't love are not the parts that you need to be paying attention to. The parts that you need to be paying attention to are the parts that make you who you are, the parts that you love and the parts that make you happy. And the more you pay attention to those, the happier you'll be. Okay, so I have love hearts for you. Oh my God, yes. Kevin, I have love hearts for you. Remember we were talking about them yesterday? I book lessons for you on Friday. Oh my gosh. All right. I've had these, yeah. but they're just hearts instead of circles. They're fizzy. They're I love totally, them. These are totally different. They're a little bit fizzy. Yeah, do you like them? I do yeah. too. Ooh, I Sarah. love them. Sophie, people are saying, Actually, Sandy is the only one. Sandy, you know Sandy? She used to be our subscriber. She's our first subscriber of life ever. She was our first subscriber. And she said that she bought these for her grandkids and she doesn't even see the appeal. Show them what people do with them. So it's good for ASMR? Good for ASMR. Okay, what else can you do? You can take a marble or a piece of paper and stuff. And you put it in. Well, you so you drop a marble. guess a number as then you drop the marble in. So they drop the marble in. Um, and like then they you, said like you tell people six or seven. One, two, three, four, five. It was in five. Yeah, so she doesn't get it. So it's kinda like a game. Okay, I'm gonna pick a number. I'm gonna pick twelve. Sophie's gonna drop the marble in. Flip it upside down. Wait, it was this way, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. I didn't get it. It was right here. Right up there. So I didn't get it. So there's a bunch of different ways to play with it. Is that the only, are those the only two ways that you play with it? Sometimes I go like, go around in circles and pop them all. So you can make designs. But there's a whole way to play with these online. People make videos about them. It's, they're, they're a big deal. They're a big deal, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, good job, Grandma. So good job, Grandma Sandy, buying those for your grandkids. I bet you they're gonna love them. I'm thinking about buying some stuff like that for my grandkids. I'm just worried about what their parents will think. Whenever I buy them like a bunch of stuff that kind of just like lays around, they don't like that. But anyway, we're gonna get ready and go down and work with our ponies now. I also bought stuff to make banana bread. I love banana bread with nuts and chocolate and the girls only like it with chocolate. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight when we get back. So I'm gonna bring these candies to the barn with me and I'm gonna give them to Brandon. I'm gonna give one to Brandon because he's also one of our Valentines. All right, oh, I smell cat spray. That's unusual. Lessons are back, you guys, lessons are back. That was not too bad, actually. Like we had a good, Six weeks of break from lessons and now we're back. I'm so excited to be back. Are you excited to have lessons back? Look, they're already in here. They're all planned. They planned their own little spot. Can you close the door? Or do we even need to close the door? We don't close the door, do we? Good girl, Ben. You missing me? Okay, so if anybody is following us on our journey with our um, course with our horses, I don't think she likes dogs. I think I think she doesn't like them. This is our cone. Come on down here, Pen. Oh, she they they're ready. They saw us coming and we they met us in the arena. And they're all standing there waiting for their girl. Except for poor Miss Willow, whose owner isn't here yet. 
Okay, hold on. Hold on. That's a girl. It's okay. I'm not going to be touching your cheek. Don't you worry. I am going to be touching your cheek, but I'm going to do it differently. So Sophie's on her way. I'm going to put the camera down and you guys can watch us working. Currently we're building our draw. So you're going to touch bot me. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. So that's what you guys are going to see. You're going to see us building our draw, directing our horse, like getting our horse to come to us. I don't know how to explain it. We're drawing our horse to us, basically. All right, here we go. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. that we're doing. So get her to go walking forward with you. And then now you go out to the side. Stop. And then come back, come move out to the side. Back up a little. No, come out to this side. And then put your hand out and see if she'll come to you. Now that's building your draw. So you should be able to, so now go to the other side. Okay. Okay, so go to the other side now. Penny's like, I wanna do it, but I don't wanna to listen to you when it comes to certain things. So walk her forward and then stop and jut out to the side. And then go to the side. Yeah, this girl is food motivated for sure and very willing. Okay, so the next step, so now that she can do that, the next step is to get her to walk with you, stop and then keep moving back and see if she follows you the whole entire time you're moving back. Go, Molly. No, you have to, yeah. Keep coming, yes! Let's change horses, because you do better with my horse. Who knew Gabby was gonna win it? Who knew it? Okay, I'm both sides. Okay, so that's what you need to do, like, let's see if I can show you guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her to, to come to me, come with me, and then I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna jut out to the back, and the horse should follow me. <laughs> and bought my hand, and she does. She understands the head bop. So, that's amazing. Let's see how you're doing. She has a chance. So you need to just draw her attention. Do you have to, I know. We were going to you, and you That's okay, that was okay. Oh, I'm gonna go to the first Yeah, she lost attention. You're All right, so let's see how Sophie's gonna do. Yeah, that's all she has to do. Come on, tell her with words. Come on, Willow. Willow's like, mmm. So, Gabby, Sophie, good girl, yes. Come on, Willow, come on. T call her, tell her with words. Good girl, yes. So you need to practice that a few times. I found myself a new best friend. Yes, I did. I know, I need to work with my... And this is why I'm not gonna win. And I want you guys to know that I'm starting with a more assertive horse. Like, it's not just... No, no, no. It's not just like that I suck. Okay, I suck a little. <laughs> and it's okay. Me saying that is not meaning negatively. I should find a positive way to say it's okay to not be on top of it every single second. But we're gonna get there, Pen. Anyway, so what I started with was all of our ABCs so that she could be reminded that she knows these things and that she's good. Okay, we're gonna not watch. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to do a quick ride on pen. Good. Good. So she drew her back. She could have went outside. It looked like she was going to go outside, but she came back to you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to groom Penny. And then hopefully I'm going to take her for a ride. I'm going to show you guys something. So this is the problem with Penny. She's taking probiotics right now that can affect her poo. But basically, she's got like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but she gets... She's so dirty in the back. She doesn't like move her legs apart so that she can, I don't know if you guys can see, but her, she gets all crusty and disgusting. Her legs, it looks way worse in real life. I have to groom her daily. I don't know how she doesn't get frozen. Good girl, but basically she's just a dirty girl. So I'm gonna do that with her. A few more minutes of working with her. I'm gonna push her now and see if I can do the, like, the harder parts that she doesn't like. I gotta get the cheek hold. I have to get it before I can do anything else. And then I'm gonna try and take her for a little ride. Okay. <laughs> and then they can't kind of refuse and some of you guys sent me messages saying try it a different way <laughs> try it a different way Laura this horse just wants to do it like I love you anyways I'm getting there I have to like work on this a little bit more because I really need to get her working well she does it for me now I have to put my hand on her nose so the nose is the thing that works for her and I'm just going to keep trying it because now I'm kind of like a week behind in the course. So I need to get her there. So I'm going to keep on working on that. You can her in this direction. So basically, I'm putting my hand on, my, on her nose to help her feel calmer. For some reason, that's work. So she won't go. So I turn her to the side. And then we just walk. Uh, and then she stops. So I turn her to the side.
we're going out for a little ride. <laughs> Look at how cute she is. She's like a spoiled brat. That's what kind of horse she is. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude. She's like, you said what about me? <laughs> Come on. We're going outside. Penny Pickle. We're going out. Go slow. Slow. All right, get back here, Missy. What do you think? She's like, yes, I'm free of the ponies. I'm free. I leave the TV on. I'm done with your sad eyes. I can take another night with you on like this. So let's go. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 